So we're done installing. Now we're ready to take this down. How do we take it down? First thing we do is we get rid of all of these straps, except for the same ones that we had originally to set the tent. We're going to leave one strap on each corner. We're going to leave one strap at each side T. Everything else we're going to take and unstrap. So let's go ahead and do that so we get the top loose. Normally we wouldn't use a tent jack on a tent this small, but just for demonstration purposes, we're going to show you how a tent jack works. Go ahead and take it up. Watch these two poles that are loose, they might come out. Bring her down. Alright, you have a couple of different ways of pulling the top off of a frame. Um, most of it has to do with how you're going to fold it and how much room you have. If you have enough room, the easiest way to do this would be just pull the whole thing off onto a wide open drop cloth and then fold it up after you've got it off the frame. We have another tent in the way, we have a center pole in the way, so I'm thinking that the way that this needs to be done is as you pull it off the frame, you're going to fan fold it onto this drop cloth. Um, probably three people are the best to do this. Does everybody know what I mean by fan fold? Okay. We're going to pull it over. We're going to pull about this much of the fabric, we're going to pull it down, we're going to grab it about the same back up, we're going to pull it on top and make a fan. Do we have the corners disconnected? Here's on this side. I got that corner. What these three guys are going to do, they're going to pull it off the frame about this far and they're going to set it on top of the drop cloth and then they're going to start fan folding. As far as fan fooling now, the two guys on each end of the tent, they're going to basically play tug of war. They're going to pull against each other and they're going to create a kind of a crease. The guy in the middle end is going to grab the crease and they're going to pull it off. <laughs> and they're going to do it again. Stop. point in time that top can then be folded up, rolled up, put into a bag. We're going to leave it right now because I guess they're going to reinstall this for the expo tomorrow. Disassembly of the frame is pretty much opposite of re uh, installation of the frame. It's basically take the perimeter apart and take the and then take the center of the tent down. The one caution I give you, I run into a lot of guys every year, I call them pinheads. That's all they want to do. They, they go around this whole tent popping all the pins out. I do not recommend that you have pinheads on your crew. 
because if you take all of the pins out, the minute somebody pulls one of these pipes out here, one of these other ones could come falling down, and when they come loose, they don't ever hit the pavement, they always hit your instep, okay? They're always laying on your foot. So please, if you got pinheads, get rid of them. If you pull a pin, pull the pipe. If you pull a pin, pull the fitting, okay? Don't let somebody just take off and go around pulling all the pins on your frame. We basically start and break a tent, a frame tent open at the corner. We're gonna pull the pin out, I'm gonna pull the pin out, I'm gonna pull the pin out, and then I'm gonna get the fitting out, and then I'm gonna move on. And as I move along, I'm gonna take the next set of pins out and the next set of pipes and, and fittings. And I'm just going to disconnect the tent like that all the way around until I get the perimeter done. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start taking this stuff apart up here and pulling the pipes out there. On the larger frame tents, once again, think about it in reverse of how we set it up. So you don't have to get up on a ladder, get it to the point where you can tip the whole thing over and then you can take it apart on the ground. These tents here, it doesn't really matter a whole lot because they are so short, so small on the ground. 